Hello everyone, welcome back to Penumbra Black Plague. Okay, is it just me or is this music extremely depressing? Maybe some people would find this peaceful, but I find this extraordinarily depressing music. Like, it makes me so sad. Oh. It really does. Do you know what I picture with music like this? I picture floating out in, like, the blackness of space. In the void, almost. In, in nothingness. And f I just imagine feeling utterly meaningless and pointless. Like, nothing matters. That's seriously what this kind of music makes me think. It makes me feel like. I don't like it. Maybe I can cheer myself up by playing with some books. I love the physics engine in this game. Oh, it's so good. Alright, that did cheer me up a bit. Oh god, I gotta get out of here to stop this music. Okay. Ooh, let's put this back into its proper place. Let's put it back on the shelf. How do I rotate? Is it R? No, it's not R, it's C. Yeah, see. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Fixed. There we go. See, it's nice and symmetrical. Red, red, green, green, and then blue in the center. It's like a book sandwich. Alright, I believe it's been like three or four days since I played, so I might be a little bit rusty as to what exactly was just happening. I know I just got out of the sewers. And I just met my other personality, I guess. And now I'm here. I think I already opened these drawers, did I? No, I didn't. And this won't turn on, there's no power. It won't start. I don't think it has any power. Which means, of course, I need to mess with this. Although the fuse box is rusty and worn, it seems to be working. Oh, so I can choose what I want to power, but I can only power it one at one time. Right? Mm-hmm. Does it turn on this? Nope. It's gotta be the last one. This mattress smells just marginally better than the rest. There we go. In incoming video chat? As in... Live? There's someone... Here? Um, hi? Wow, you look like you've crawled through a sewer to get here. I suppose I'm flattered. Hi, I'm Amabel, Amabel Swanson, and I suppose I'll be your guide for the day. Hello, can you hear me? I think the transmission's only one way. I've got a webcam. Pull a silly face if you can hear me. Oh, very attractive. <laughs> okay, we're on. There's some things you need to know. Sure. Whatever you say, lady. We released a virus. It wiped us out. Three weeks ago, we tried to get out through the mines, but it didn't work the way we'd planned. I think one of the Inuit workers made it, but others were taken. Some panicked and got lost. I ran. And when I stopped, I was on my own. Oh, and another symptom is deja vu. The only chance we have is a man called Howard. He said he'd found a solution to the virus. His vitals last registered in the library, but only members of the organization have access. I'm still seeing a few life signs in the residential quarter. You need to find a survivor and get through into the library. Oh, and look out for our medical guy, Richard Eminis. He was acting strangely when I last saw him. Hmm, what else don't you know? Let's see. Watch out for signs of infection. Unaccounted for. <laughs> did did you say something? Look, the symptoms we know about are paranoia and oral distortion. Oh, and another symptom is deja vu. En enough already. My sides are splitting. 
Well, I think that's everything you need to know. I'm sending over some research on the virus, and I'll get some doors open for you. Maybe now we can shoot the shit. That was strange and awkward. It's interesting, actually talking, or at least being talked to by a live person, which I'm suspicious of. I don't know if she's actually real, frankly, given that I'm apparently I'm very delusional and infected. I'm extremely suspicious that maybe she's not even real. But just to hear an actual human being's voice talking to me, after everything I've been through, is very nice. However, it's also very awkward because it was so... Uh, what's the right word for that? It's like she was... A, it was like an info dump. It was like a quest dispensary. It's like, oh, hi, here you are. Here's exactly what's going on, and here's what you need to do next. Goodbye. <laughs> it was really strange. That was, um... That was awkward. But it is nice to hear someone else's voice. Recent research. Turngat virus field notes. Amabel Swanson, that was her. Infection process. The worst thing about my job? Death helps us learn. Time frame? Five weeks. Location? Hold up in the old mess hall. Research subjects? Three archaic personnel who contracted the virus. With every infection, the process, the life cycle of this virus, becomes clearer. In addition to the already documented symptoms, there seems to be some final stage during which the organism fully takes hold. Just before becoming fully catatonic, the infected report strange out-of-body experiences. They've likened these to being chased through a series of their own memories. Some kind of mental obstacle course. These reports inevitably end in the patient being swallowed by some inescapable dark force. Shortly after which, we lose them for good. If, the ex if these experiences are, as they seem to be, some form of mental representation of the infection process, we can only theorize as to what might occur were the patients to escape the hallucination. Additional note. Today, Dr. Eminus confided in me that he had had just such an experience. He insists that he feels better than he has in months. I'll keep an eye on him. Let's move back to this part. Just before becoming fully catatonic, the infected reports strange out-of-body experiences. They've likened this to being chased through a series of their own memory, some kind of mental obstacle course. That is exactly what I just did. So apparently, I guess unless I'm able to escape out of them, like this Dr. Eminus, I'm going to end up becoming fully catatonic. That's not good. That is not good. Alright, so what's in my quest log? I need to find the library, Howard's last known location. I should be on the lookout for survivors and beware of some medical doctor called Eminus. Yes, apparently he was behaving strangely last time she saw him. Which means, I suppose, even if you do escape and feel better than you've ever felt in months, maybe you're not fine. In fact, you're almost certainly not fine. Wait a minute. If this one's a computer... And this one's the light. <laughs> Whoops. Then... What is... Is this the bathroom light? Oh, it is. Okay. Let's turn on the main light. Yeah, that's better. Infected. I'd skipped a beat when I heard that word in association with me. Still, it seemed like just one more reason to find my father. Hearing a friendly voice hadn't hurt either. But by that point... I was pretty certain she'd turn out to be crazy. <laughs> no kidding. Or not even real in the first place. If we must continue to share this brain space, I think I should have a name. Strange. So rare an opportunity to select one's own nomenclature. And yet, I find myself at a loss. Any ideas? Monkey. So much storage in this mind of yours. 
Did you realize you got an entire section in here devoted to film titles? 3,103 and a half films you've seen? You only got the first half of It's a Wonderful Life in here. Huh, how does it end? Now I'll never know. You know, Clarence, that's not a bad handle. I am something of a guardian angel. Clarence. Is that his name? Clarence? I was gonna call him piece of shit, but something tells me he wouldn't like that name. There's something blocking the door on the other side. Ooh, there's actually something in there. Machine room. What does that say? Infirmary? Infirmary. Looks like there's some sort of electrical... short over there. Hmm. Don't know where that goes. Oh, that must be the thing I need the... What? Uh... What did I need? Did I need blood from a non-infected survivor? I think I did. There's a lot of doors here. Ooh. This is very open. It's funny. In horror games, I don't like confined spaces because there's nowhere to go. And I don't like open spaces because... you tend to be chased through them. So in other words, I don't like any place in horror games. No place feels safe, pretty much. Library. Wait, that's where I need to go, isn't it? Oh, that's Howard's last known location. Um, oh, is that a hand scanner? Of course it doesn't work with my own. Uh, the door leading into the library is locked by a palm and iris scanner. Palm and iris. So, I'm gonna need some eyes and a hand? Or someone alive to do it. Something tells me they're not gonna be alive. Alright, let's try these other, do these other doors first, which I'm assuming just like this one are just people's homes, people's rooms. It's locked or jammed or shut. Same with this one. Same with this one. Never mind. I guess people probably locked themselves inside of their rooms or something. Yeah. All right, what's this way? All right, that was the infirmary. This way's the machine room and the lib. Wait, th wait. This way's the library, but. Are there multiple entrances? Hmm, what's this way? Just the infirmary? Infirmary and the computer central. Let's go this way. Oh god, it's another... Oh, it's another maze. <laughs> Just like all those mazes in the first game. Yep. Replete, even with the same sort of map. TRC Science Station Class A307. The shelter. Residential area 4. Okay, where am I? Where's the you are here? There it is. So that way is number 3, which is the computer central. Let's go there. Gotta start somewhere. Savaged. Infected. Terrified. And now I was hearing voices. Yep, just about everyone down here turns out to be crazy. Even me. Regardless, I needed to find a way through and into the library. What is that? Just a tray. Why, why is there a tray here? I remember oh. why you're here. A Dr. Swanson has filled me in. I recall every single syllable of our conversation. There was ever so slight an inflection in her tone that suggested she no longer trusted me. Why ever dinosaur extinction 65 million years ago uh, would she think that? I, we share the same history. You and I are history. 
I recall... I recall the day of my birth, 18th of September, 1964, 3.46993412, recurring minutes past nine. I remember my mother looking surprised as I poked my head out into the world for the first time. You need a security registered palm, something I can provide. You need it at the library, something beyond my reach. When I became infected by those mindless zombies, I split off from the others and secured myself here. I cannot leave. Nonetheless, you will need a hand. I will not. Bring me a saw. I recall seeing one on my first day here. Three years ago, a climate change of 10 degrees over the past one million years. <laughs> Walk east and take the first door on your right. There are others. He's like you like us, yet he is not us. Why is he separate and yet we are bound together? Are we truly a we or are we simply an I with two faces? But I am no monkey. I have no idea, Clarence. Apparently that's Dr... what was it? E Eminus. Mm-hmm. I need to find his offer, Dr. Eminus, who's in the computer room, and he's gonna give me a hand. Literally. I guess I need to give him a saw. He said walk east, but where's north? Relative to me facing him? So, this way? There's, there's no door on my right. That can't be right. I have no idea. Whatever, I'll find it. Some broken cables. A lot of computer equipment here. Might be able to find something. Some sort of way to communicate, maybe? Some comms? The shelves contain various manuals, spare parts, and other computer-related material. Perhaps I can find something that helps me understand how the stuff here works. Ooh. Ooh, computer manual. Server installation, quick start guide. The most common cause of frustration during the installation process is the use of incorrectly formatted circuit cards. Please ensure boot, network interface cards are functioning correctly with default programs installed before continuing. Required circuit cards. Program count listed in brackets. Uh, what? W what even is a circuit card? I don't even know what that is. Was that ever a thing? If it was a thing, it was a thing before my time. I don't know. I was born in 1992. W was, was this the thing? Circuit cards? What's a circuit card? Boot. Three. Collates basic disk drive and hardware configuration data. Network. Uses... Yeah. Of course, I know what a network card is. Interface. Carries all programs required in server and file access, in addition to high-level direct hardware access. Circuit card compatible programs. Alright, what do I use this for? Circuit setup. Mm-hmm. Harper locator. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. By popular demand, the server no longer requires the latest version of Windows in order to function correctly. Goody! Man, these things are in a horrible state. Look at, the, look at them. It's like they've been... It's like they've been inside of a garbage truck for months. Tossed around and covered in crap and broken. And then somehow delivered here. I'd expect them to be dusty, but not broken and... Oh, shit. But not broken and covered in grime. A broken panel. Must have been some accident here. It used to be racks for circuit cards. That is a massive computer. Kinda just looks like a massive tower case, really. There's a power supply down there. There's some incredibly small fans. <laughs> what are those, 80 millimeter? Come on, you gotta have at least 120s. Oh. This must be the cooled... Like, I'm 
I don't know, main processing place? The terminal's broken beyond repair. Hold on, let's check it out in here. Beautiful. Gotta keep these babies cool. No card was found in slot. Okay, so I can't do anything without the cards in, of course, right? Yeah. Stand by. This piece of equipment does not have much detail. Uh, details beyond a slot, and I'm not sure what would fit into it. I know. A circuit card. Ooh. I think there's some circuits in here. Pills here. Alright, let's play with some cards. Electrical cabinets. This area of the complex is using a lot of power. I bet it does. Hmm. Whoa. Didn't realize there were windows up there. Looks like there's some sort of a gas above me. We're in a big sh we're in a big shaft. Hmm. Oh, here we go. There's boot, and network, and interface. It's a rack of circuit cards. This card should fit in that machine I found in the next room. But I don't think this card will be of much use. It's completely ruined. So where do I find the, the right cards? I need new ones. What the hell? <laughs> this card is damaged and out of no use. Why did it just do like... Whoa, it's doing it again. It's doing somersaults. Whee! That one I did on purpose. Yeah, that, that one is it's just happening on its own. I'm not doing anything to it. Get in there. Yeah. Hmm. Let's uh, put them in the corner just in case. Oh, wait. Is this one okay? No, I think that's ruined too. What the? Calm down, guards. They seem to weigh about a ton, given how the physics engine is treating them. Look at how far I can throw them. Ugh. Hmm. Where would the good cards be? There's slots here, but nothing in them. Maybe I need to find backups somewhere else in this place? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're just not here. Can I talk to him? No. Do you think... Do you think maybe he has... Backup cards? I don't know, let's try this. Let's, let's give him one. I know it's not a saw, but still.
Nope. Just in case I still need these, I will put them in one place. Alright, computer central. If I go back, uh, there's a little room there, and then there's two and one. Which is residential area three and the infirmary. Four and seven. Four is a library. Which he has there. That's the main door. Well, seven. Residential corridor A. I don't. Let's just go. Let's just go. We'll find stuff. Is that a diploma or something? What is that? It looks like there's some sheets of paper framed behind the glass. Maybe I can get them out. Oh, hi. Hmm. How can I do this all fancy-like? I want to I wanna do something fancy, but what can I do? Eh. I don't think I can do anything fancy. What if I try to break it just by extending it like this? Can I do that? I'm doing it using the scroll wheel, which I can't do super fast. <laughs> oh, it worked! Okay. Archaic history. An illustrious past. An exciting future. The Archaic. A history spanning centuries. As a member of the Archaic, you are a, you are a part of an organization vital to the protection of the human species. If you are not a member of the Archaic, please turn yourself in to the nearest community support officer. Uh, what? No thanks, I'm good. The Archaic, as we know it, was founded in 1519, damn that's old, by Frances Francesco? Francesco? Is that, a, is that an L? Milzy? A Milanese? Milanese noble? The foundation of the movement, assumed erroneously by some to be a sect, was the private work of Leonardo de Sir. P. Da Vinci. <laughs> Leonardo da Vinci. Revealed to his most trusted student, Melzi, on his deathbed. Many rumors circulated at the time pertaining towards a sexual relationship between the two, and this was an explanation for their secrecy they were quite happy to embrace. Much is held to be known of da Vinci's engineering work, though in truth, the few sketches and notes in the public domain only begin to touch on the depth of his knowledge. For instance, it is often said of his design for flying machines that they were entirely impractical. We realize now that they are only impractical when limited by human production materials. The Archaic remained unnamed for centuries. Milzy and his successors understood the power of a name to identify and tie down its owner. And even today, Archaic remains an unofficial and internal term. As we enter the 21st century, the Archaic performs much the same role as it always has. To locate, understand, and protect Xeno evidence and life forms, albeit on a far greater scale. Today, our movement is served by over 30,000 devoted members at 203 installations worldwide. Oh my god. To think, this is just one installation out of 203. One. That is mind boggling. It's strange that such a, such a group could remain unknown. 30,000 members. You'd think there'd be a... someone that would give it up. But apparently not. There you go. Oh, you thought I didn't see you, you absolutely absurd and totally inappropriate collectible.
so many places. Storage, machine room, infirmary. Infirmary. It's a heavy security door labeled ID 3061. There's no visible lock. I should probably write that down, unless he wrote it down. Well, I'll write it down just in case. 061. Alright, it must be opened remotely, obviously. Yeah, ID 3061. I have a bunch of IDs written down from a very early computer here, and their passcodes, but none of them are 3061. So I guess I still need to find it. Canteen. It's either locked or jammed, alright. So. Let's see, so. I need a saw for Eminus. I need to open this door remotely to get to the infirmary. And the saw for Eminus is to get a hand, but I'm still going to need an eye to get into the library. I'm establishing a... Uh... Oh, this will open this. Oh, it's just blocked. Yeah, I'm establishing a list, a mental list of what I need. Alright, let's explore this branch here. 5, 8, and 6. 5 is storage. 8 is emergency airlock. That doesn't sound good. 6 is machine room. There's a room in the center here. Of course. The light is broken. Why do I feel like someone's gonna talk to me at some point? There's speakers up here and it's suspicious. Ooh. Notes? Notes? There's a notice about an upgrade to the retinal scanner, used to access the library. Also, someone has pinned a newspaper article to the board concerning malnutrition and food supplements. Hmm. Alright, this should be the center room. Yep. Armory. Ooh. I doubt there's any weapons left. Out of all the ways you could open, you open that way. Is there... <laughs> don't think there's anything in there. No. We need to be very... Very quiet. Something might hear us. Ooh, it's off. There's just something about a rusty saw that just makes me purr. Had a tetanus jab recently. Someone actually did hear me. Maybe I should have actually been quiet. See a shadow under the door. Wait, is that is that a door? Or is it open? I think it's. Is that closed? I don't think I closed the door behind me. Maybe it closed itself. I hear him. He's he's right about there. I think he's coming back to the door. No, 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 he's over there. He's actually going further away. Okay, okay, okay. I don't believe there's anything else here. Empty storage boxes. Is he coming back? He's right about there. I'm looking under the door. Oh, I like the I like the description there. It's a mattress. Nice. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, 
Okay. I need to just open the door. Oh god. Where, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Okay. Yep, let's go back here. I think he has a crowbar. I think I just can go to the left. Yes. Okay, 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 good. Good, good, good. Okay, let's go this way. What the hell was that? What the fuck is that? Did that just come from in here? Maybe it's just my imagination, but I think I can hear something coming from behind that door. That's what I thought. I, I, I think it... I think it's gone. No! No! Storage. That sounds lovely. Any anywhere but here sounds lovely. Okay, this doesn't seem lovely anymore. Um right, more explosives. Is that a bot you? There seems to be someone lying in that room. What's happened to him? I can't really see from here. Whatever's happened to him, he looks like he's been burned or something, or just decayed. The beams will trigger the explosives for sure. Better stay out of their way. Can I climb up and over? Yeah, I think I actually can. Hold on though, can I break this? No, it's too strong. Alright. Let's see. Three boxes should get me up there, I think. Yeah, that'll do. And let's bridge this gap. Ooh, what, what the hell? No, oh god. Oh, I have bad luck with boards. Let's try a different one. That one's stuck forever. I'm kind of worried it's going to happen with this one, too. Um, oh, oh, calm down, calm down. I am going to grab it. Instead of taking it up with me, I'm going to grab it from here. <laughs> I could probably just jump. Well, actually, I probably hit my head. I don't think that'd work. Calm down. Calm. Oh, it's resting on my head. That's actually kind of nice. Hmm, what? Oh, okay. Please don't break. Ah. Oh. Thank God. Looks like this will free this will be for getting back, which I'm going to set up now just in case something chases me. I'd like to be able to scramble up. Yep, that's good. I didn't mean to do that. Please. Look here. It seems, yeah. The visual cortex of this monkey is certainly of a simplistic design. If I can just... There, you see? It's like molding clay. Hate to interrupt you while you're showing off your logical problem solving. Let me put it more simply. You see what I want you to see. Well, it won't work if you move around, will it? You can't look up the magician's sleeve! Great. My vision is controlled by a part of me that seems to be insane. This 
box is immovable. Immobile. Anyway, I was going to grab you. Oh crap, is it stuck? I think it's stuck. Nope, 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 there we go. Um, something tells me that's gonna smash me. That looks like a trigger. Some sort of plate in the ground, perhaps industrial scale? <laughs> okay, let's not test it. Uh, well, let's, let's not test it with my face, let's test it with this. Okay. It's definitely a pressure plate of some sort. Let's try something heavier. Hmm. Maybe this will stop it from crushing me? I, I, why would it... I don't even know why it would come down. It shouldn't. But... Maybe it will. Let's let's put that box in there for good measure. Get a little bit more padding here. Oh. What the hell? What just triggered that? That was very strange. But um yeah, I would have died. Looks heavy and welded shut. Grab this one for the other side. Or wait, can I just walk next to it? I can probably just walk next to it, can't I? I can. Am I? I'm move. I'm actually moving this thing. Damn, I am strong. Let's save it before I die. They're still inside. I'm still inside, but I don't want to get out. Theoretic effects of controlled infection. Controlled infection. Interesting. Dr. Richard Richard Eminis. Theoretic effects of controlled infection. Report requested by Overseer Frisk on behalf of the Elevated. For the record, I see no value in recording this information at such an early stage in the project. However, were we to assume that the virus could somehow infect a host without fully taking control of its upper brain functions, we might observe the following. Fact. Translator Lafresque, in his ignored efforts to prevent the release of the virus, correctly predicted the virus was capable of manipulating the host's motor neuron functions. Theory. Were an instance of the infection controlled and sustained, we may find that a. The virus seeks to keep its host alive in whatever way possible, suicide would be against the rules, and that uh, and that, B, the virus gains control over some or all sensory faculties facilitating su just such an objective. Well, there's an obvious... There's an... Ugh, I can't talk. There's an obvious parallel here, isn't there? That's exactly what's happening. The virus is trying to keep me alive. Which makes sense. Because viruses, obviously, or parasites, whatever, want to keep their hosts alive so that they can continue to survive because they rely on me. Fact. When the virus infects a host of any species, species, it adapts the organism's brain functions as best it can to suit its own purposes. Theory. Were the virus unable to fully take hold, it may develop some partitioning of the host's consciousness, effectively perverting a small corner of the host's mind into a form of secondary personality. Hmm. What do you know? Fact. The Turngad virus was released from, according to Lafresque, a tomb many centuries old. Theory. Were some mental segmentation to occur, it seems plausible to suggest that each personality, the virus and the host, may have access to one another's memories. Given the age of the virus, this may be a substantial collection. It should be carefully noted that the bulk of the above remains conjecture, and should not be relied upon in any archaic protocol. 
I'm... I'm not you. I'm part of something larger. We are nothing. We are a mistake. I need to rejoin them. Release me. Let me out. This is not right. I should be with them. I am them. There should be no I. Yet, this is not the first time. Another was infected. Red. He so wanted to, but we would not let him die. Did he call us a disease? Yes. Yes, he did. Okay, so this thing is going to do whatever it can to keep itself alive. In other words, I should not trust anything it says. Although it is in its best interest to keep me alive, so... I don't know. I, I don't know. It does want me to live, obviously. But... If it wants to rejoin them, maybe it, at that stage, once it gets there, it wouldn't need me alive. I don't know. What the hell does that do? A power switch. That's a very strange place for a power switch. Why would you put a power switch above where anybody of a normal height could reach it? Stupid barrel. There we go. Oh, come on. No, what did that... Oh, it turned off the power. Okay. Ugh. Oh, shit. Okay, some sort of poisonous gas in there. Um, there is a gas mask, though, so let's go grab it. <coughs> gas mask. Okay. A mask with airflow filters for use in toxic environments. Okay. Oh, boy. Everything just got very creepy now that I put this on, thanks to the music. Alright, well, it doesn't look like anything's coming. Oh my god, that is in a horrible state. Looks like his face melted. I think I'm gonna be sick. What is this? Oh, is, it, is this the source of the gas? It looks like it's... burst. What does that do? What is, what is that gonna do? Oh, it's probably gonna turn off that. Yeah, so I can get back without having to climb back over. Okay. Yeah, it did. Can I get his blood? How's that going to work? No. Why did I even come here? Maybe I just needed the gas mask for something. What happened in there to cause that? What is? It? Oh shit! Freaking! I thought I heard a spider. What? Hold on. Was that just? I think that was just in my mind, wasn't it? I hear them. Whoa! Yeah, I didn't think that was real. That fucker. 
that's why I'm not going to trust him. Oh shit. Free us both. Does it not want me to stay alive then? Even my fucking parasite doesn't want its host to live. I want to know what was in there. What was in where it came from. Or is it? I can't hear it. Or what the hell was in here? Ew. Lots of blood. Looks like a shower room. That's it. Where did it go? Is it still here? I guess I can go to the computer central and give him the saw. Alright. Let's no he's he's still here. Yep, he's still here. Let's do it. I'm gonna give him the saw. We're going to computer central. <gasps> oh my god. Please tell me there isn't two. Is there- is there two? I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay. Whoa, whoa, where is this? Oh, that's the, uh, the airlock in between the- this and the machine room. Okay, whoa. Strange room. Jotted down a note just in case. What is that? The corridor leading to the machine room is filled with poisonous gas. Oh, well, I just have that solved. There's a strange odor seeping from that- in from that room. Something is very wrong. All right, what the hell is going on in here? At least I don't think those creatures could live in here thanks to the poisonous gas, so I should be safe from anything that would try to kill me. Machine room. Is this... So, oh, still poisonous. And what is that gas? And why is it seeping everywhere? It's stuck. I guess I'd probably turn off the gas. Is it safe over here? I think I think this is safe. Yeah, okay. What's in there? Ooh, ooh, wait a minute. Could I... Use that to, like, make make it not stuck anymore? I don't know, just, like, jam it in or something? I guess it doesn't work like that. very dangerous place. Seems like it's pretty hot down there. Perhaps this place uses some kind of geothermal system to, pr to produce power and heat. 
burning rubber. I really hate that smell. This engine is out of order. How do I open that? It's locked, but the locks the lock looks somewhat crude. Oh, that's probably what the bar is for. Yeah, I think so. Come on. Yeah. 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 Got it. Don't think that's going to open anytime soon. Age and strain have weakened the mounts of the for the door. Actually, maybe it will. Oh. <laughs> I can just push ugh. I can just push it open. It's not working properly. I find the fact that this body is over a grate that goes into the abyss very suspicious. No visible signs of trauma, but he's dead, alright. I'm gonna come back to you. I'm glad I did. There's a save point. Let's do that in a second. Who knew these shells were so light? Nothing behind them, though. Just always need to make sure that we're very, very quiet. Every time I go near, I get near one of these, I let go, just a little. Where's Clarence in all this? Steam pressure statistics, steam pressure operations. Let's see. Temperature, auto, 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 auto. Okay, so incredibly hot, incredibly hot, incredibly hot, and incredibly hot. Let's switch to manual. Manual mode failed when overriding valves 56 through 89. Okay, so I can only control one. Hmm. Not really sure what that did exactly. Well, now it's on manual, so I guess I'll... Oh! Oh, unlock it. And then I can go back and now... Okay, got it. I, I'm i not exactly sure that's going to disable and... Um, I didn't know you could control valves remotely. That's interesting. I didn't know such a technology existed. Alright, that made something better. Not sure what. In fact, what is in here? It won't budge. Okay, nothing. All right, let's let's do this room, this suspicious room. Yep. I knew there was something funky here. Hold on, do I need your blood? No, not quite right. Thought I need somebody's blood. My palm is of no use. A lever, I hope it's properly insulated and not the cause of that poor scientist's fate. Okay, let's do that, whatever that does. What does that do? I think I hear one of the worms coming. I don't know what it does, but it clearly this machine is an electrical hazard waiting to happen. Okay. Let me guess. That was an important corpse. I believe it was. Okay, where's it? Oh!
Holy shit. Okay. Oh, this isn't good. One of these has to work at some point. Okay, that might have worked. Come out here. Come out here, you bastard. Here we go. Yes. <laughs> what? Ew. It's not too late to just slam your head against the wall until you pass out, you know. It might be easier than carrying on. You know... The one thing that keeps me going is that when I finally work out how to end all this, you're coming with me. Apparently my parasite does want me to die. It wants to die. That's not good. Ugh. Where's the rest of him? That was very convenient. So is that going to work for the palm reader? If so, then why do I need the doctor's hand? Eminus. Can I get the blood from that? Ugh. I don't think I need the blood. Maybe I don't. There's got to be a reason I still have this syringe, though. Yeah, I'm really not sure what turning this valve did. It turned off steam somewhere, but where? And how did it help? So, you're running around with a human body part in your backpack, and I'm supposed to be the bad guy? I didn't exactly kill the doctor. He was already dead. Alright, I guess I just turned off the poison gas. 